Here are this week's top stories on the Bangkok Post, I'm Gary Boyle. The southern tourist province of Phuket bore the brunt of local storms this week with flooding, blackouts and landslides. The old neighbourhood in downtown Phuket was one of the worst affected. Katu district was hit by mudslides which toppled power poles and strongly flowing flood water destroyed a bridge in Tambon Si Suntorn. Phuket International Airport advised passengers to leave three to four hours earlier than their scheduled departures as roads around the airport were inundated. Phuket's governor has asked for financial assistance from the government for those affected. Thailand's first case of Omicron's highly transmissible descendant, BQ1, has been detected in a 40-year-old foreign man who arrived from China. BQ1 and BQ1.1 are reported to be resistant to current antibody medications used to treat COVID-19 patients, and both variants are highly contagious. Additionally, two people who recently arrived from abroad tested positive for yet another subvariant XBB. However, there is no clinical proof that the new variants cause more severe infections or more fatalities than previous subvariants. A car driven by a monk struck a motorcycle on Sunday, killing a woman and injuring her younger brother. The car driver was the 74-year-old abbot of a nearby temple. The monk drove from a soy onto a main road and collided with the oncoming motorcycle. Police said the abbot would be charged with reckless driving causing death and damage to property. A 37-year-old Canadian man seen rollerblading on Bangkok roads was charged by police with a misdemeanor. The TikTok video of Jordan McIver rollerblading from Nana to Onnut on Sukhumvit Road went viral, causing concern that he could have been hit by a vehicle or caused a road accident. Officers pressed a charge related to traffic obstruction and road safety. He was fined 1,000 baht. Mr. McIver said he was unaware he was violating Thai law and only wanted to see the city while exercising. Join us for more top stories next week on the Bangkok Post.